I'm gonna try and get some chill music on here. having some coffee right now it's like 2 20 in the afternoon it's 45 degrees out um i'm at the harbor usually when i chill i'm on the other side but as you can see over there they're building another phase that's um, that's Harbor Point. I think it's Aspire. I'm not exactly sure. Or actually, yeah, usually, yeah, that's where I usually am. That, you know, I, one of my videos where I drove through. These buildings, these three buildings right here, those are brand new within this last six months. They finished them. Um... So, for five years, for, yeah, for five years, it was nothing but a uh, pile of rocks that they kept, like, moving around, and then finally they've developed them. So, I mean, these buildings are gorgeous, and then behind it is the Allure, that building right there. There's, like, there's, like, two buildings. They're building a third one, so it looks like they have three buildings total for each of the groups of apartments then you have the beacon which is still one of my favorites it's gorgeous this area is only about 10 years developed in total so I'm across, they also have a phase over on this side called Harbor Landing, which is just a little bit to my left. So I'm right now, I'm parked over by Prime, which is a hot spot. It's very, uh, very upscale, really nice restaurant. Um, and then to the left of me is Crab Shell. Crab Shell is not so much. It's like the one good thing about crab shell like the draw of crab shell is that they their food is pretty good if you're into seafood i don't eat seafood anymore but when i did this was definitely a favorite they have a really good lobster roll here um they also have live music outside which is a big attraction for them but the place is not updated it's very 80s so it's way outdated um, their menu is not really updated either. Like, they're just stuck in a decade that, for this city, they have a prime location on the water. They have live music on the weekends, uh, actually throughout the week at night. Like, they're missing a key element of a very important thing that they, like, they got going on here. And it's just... It's sad to see it, but I know that at one point they were looking to sell the restaurant, but I don't think they got any buyers. And they just really, you know, it's like two guys own it and you can just tell like they don't have, like they need to hire somebody to either come in and completely restyle and revamp. They need like a Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> they really do. They need Gordon Ramsay to come in here and 
take over and give them a whole new you need to give them an enema I don't know what that bird is wow look a Shiba Inu it's coming up in a second mm. you can't see him he's too close to the car he's little but this is one of my favorite chill spots this is technically the Mill River but obviously it goes out into the um, Long Island Sound it was one of my favorite chill spots they have if you see right across there so what they do is they have a little um, a little jetty that comes across and brings people over to this side so they can go over to the restaurants which is really nice and uh, all that. Hi, somebody's here. I see you. How are you today? Who is it? <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm having my coffee. I'm enjoying the water. was talking about is crab shell restaurant which is stuck in the 80s and then you have a really super oh, okay they left a super modern prime so one day I was picking up an uber eats delivery so somebody from, I was picking up from Prime. I love that restaurant and every time I go, th let me just tell you something, the Mater D, he has such a sense of style. I, every time I go in there, I just love to look at him. He is dressed to the nines every time I go in there and he's just, he's just flawless. <laughs> he's just got such a sense of style. But anyway, I digress. So I go in there, pick up an order. Somebody ordered a tomahawk steak, okay, so. I go to deliver it, nobody's answering the door. Waiting, 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 trying to call them, knocking on the door, trying to text them, all the stuff. And when you do an Uber Eats delivery, you have eight minutes. You can wait eight minutes, and after eight minutes, you can cancel the order, you still get paid for the order, and you can move on to the next. So, um, again, I don't eat meat, but I am somebody that truly appreciates a tomahawk steak. I ended up giving it to one of my friends that night, um, cause I was actually working two jobs. I was working an overnight shift. So I brought it to my coworker. She had one of the best steaks of her life that night. So, um, they're popular for a reason this restaurant they definitely have it going on so now you can see right past the beacon there's like a little silver building right there that's mexico they're pretty good too from what i understand One thing about the Harbor Point area is that no matter what time of year it is, people are out enjoying the, the, the good weather. You know, it's 45 degrees. It's a little chilly, obviously, but you're still out there walking around and enjoying the, uh, you know, 
the na in nature, I guess, whatever you can say, enjoying the waterfront. Because there's a path, a path right there. And then there's a path above. Too far. There's, there's two. So, people like to jog around here and, um, in between the buildings, there is a park, which is really nice. They walk their dogs over there. Hi, how are you today? It's a beautiful day, really. They do yoga down on that over there. They do yoga like over there. 
they have all kinds of different activities throughout the week from these buildings. It's pretty nice. Please go inside. There is a worker like 15 floors up and he's on one of the balconies that doesn't have any railing. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm very uneasy. if there's other workers in that building at this time near him it's just it's just like why why does this have to happen near me today
so there's a business I forgot about that there's a business over here called Captain John's Tiki Bars so he had smaller ones but something happened where it got unmoored and it ended up crashing into something else it ended up starting a fire so now it wasn't anything like of the fault of the owner or mechanical it it ended up colliding with something else so there was a big fire um so there's a new one he's got a bigger like rectangular kind of like pontoon boat now so it's basically like you can rent it out for like friends and stuff like that and it's like a floating bar so it's a tiki bar and um i think you could do it for like an hour you probably could do it longer and i, I don't know what his rates are at this point um but that's a fun time because you just you know uh you just be on the boat on the water having a good time you got the bar you know the bar um i think i think you have to bring your own I don't remember if it's like bring your own booze. I don't remember honestly, but um, I like the concept. He used to have like these other little fast little boats that you could learn how, like you could go and rent um, and they would give you like a, they'd give you like a little training on them first, but like they were some fast little things. I don't know. There might have been some liability issues with that. It might have been like, because I, I looked on his website and I don't see them anymore. I've never seen anybody riding them. So I think maybe he had to like ditch that idea. But you will see people um, on like paddle boarding. They'll do that. So they get like the big um, paddle and like the long board and they'll be out in the water doing that. Usually over by the beach you find that um, people are doing it because it's calm. There's not really boats coming in and out over there. It's a, it's a little bit more ideal location to do that. Um, but you will see them in here as well. There's just a lot of boats coming in and out in the summertime, obviously. So tomorrow's Super Bowl, and um, I don't think the weather is going to be too good for Super Bowl. I know they were saying here that it was going to snow. I'm just thinking, like you know, my delivery, the delivery company that I work for was saying it was going to snow. So I'm not working, and I don't plan on being out in the snow. So I'm probably not going to do. A live driving show like I had anticipated like that's all gonna be played by ear um, that's why I'm kind of like out here today and I'm honestly just chilling it's just showing you some of my favorite spots that I like to come and <clears throat> Zen out at because even though it's a busy area this is very peaceful for me personally when I was a kid I mentioned in one of my other videos my mother used to take my brothers and I and my great-grandmother and she would rent a house up in Milford Connecticut we lived in New York so that was like an hour and a half away from us um so we used to go to Milford for like a week but then my father used to take me to Montauk Long Island which is the point. It's like the furthest, furthest most destination in Long Island. There's like, there's Montauk Point and then there's Orient Point. So Montauk is where it ends pretty much. And um, it's like past the Hamptons. So it was, um, those are memories that I have from my childhood that I like uh, going with my father. Um, like I, I used to look forward to going out there. And so just being around the water is soothing and it's nostalgic in a way for me. So I love it.
one of my friends, she goes out to Montauk every summer with her family. Um, so that's always, it's a nice spot. There's really not much to do out there other than go to the beach, fish, <laughs> and eat. There's not, it's not a huge, hugely developed area. It's still very much like this beach location. That's it. Vacation. It's very low key. Let's go find a different spot. One of my other little hideouts. <laughs> Ooh. That's the crab shell right there. So that's where they have their live music and all that. And you know, that kind of good shit. But like I said, they need an update, big time. This is the harbor landing, which is the other phase of Harbor Point. Let's go to one of my other little faves. Van was Upper Crust Bagel Company that would buy. They must be delivering a catering order or something.
the street action kid came down the day that he was here to go towards Harbor Point. Obviously, that's where he went for part of his stream. I'm taking him. A dick. You did that shit deliberately. He tried to squeeze me. He's trying to stop me from passing him. And then looking at me like I'm I'm on crack. Here is Vineyard Vines headquarters, but this is an office park and you can see it's right on the water. That's one of the nice features, like you could, if you are lucky enough to like work at one of these businesses over here, you get this beautiful view over here of this marina. And I 
I do want to apologize for some of my curse words, but just like when people do stupid stuff when they're driving, that it just the New Yorker in me comes out and I can't help it. It's very hard to control, I, I have to say. Weirdo. So I'm gonna park over here for a little bit. It's a nice view. Obviously, the marina comes out over here. So, then, as I said, they usually have the Stanford Beer Garden over here. Um, like in the last couple of weeks, they usually have it up here. Or in this area. I don't know exactly where it is, but this is the spot for it. <clears throat> and that's the park that you can access from Harbor Point. You can see how close they are. My coffee is kicking in. Feel like a lot of your life's <laughs> online? Shopping, banking, and browsing can expose personal info. In fact, one in four people have malware on all their connected devices. 
Let's go take a little ride. This is just beautiful. The buildings, I just love that view. I remember when I first moved here six years ago, I was so trying to figure out how to get money, <laughs> save money to get one of these condos over here. They are expensive, these condos. They're not cheap. So they're more than a house, you know, more than a standalone single family house. And I was like, that's not a. <laughs> you know, that's not something that's achievable for a single woman at this point in time. At least not this single woman. So, but, you know, they're prime little locations. So I could totally see why I can't afford them. It is what it is.
to the left of me is Japan, I'm sorry, to the right of me is Japan Point. And then that is, that's more towards the Cove area over here on the left. is that okay Somebody's flying a kite. I don't know if you can see it. They're trying to get it up. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't think that kite is getting up. I do not see it flying in the air. I don't know.
Oops. I think that's going to be a wrap for me today. Um, my coffee is kicking in and I have to take care of some stuff that I got to get rolling. Um, so I got things to do. But I just wanted to chill for a while and hopefully you'll check this out later. And that's it. Thank you. Bye.